Hey everybody, it's Chris with Rain City Geckos. Uh, I just wanted to take a quick minute to uh, do something a little different. Uh, all the videos, everyone kind of knows I got, I'm pretty much into lever geckos, got a few crested geckos and uh, two bearded dragons. But I also have uh, two ball pythons. And <clears throat> I wasn't a, not a big snake guy, not super, super big fan of snakes, like some people. Um, definitely interested, they're really cool. Um, ball pythons, you know, they got all kinds of, all kinds of morphs, uh, real similar to leopard geckos, um, as far as the recessive dominance, just the variety, the amount, um, <clears throat> here are just two that I've gotten here in the last, I don't know, probably five, five months or so, I don't know, um, my birthday, I decided to get this bumblebee male at the, uh, reptile expo here in Seattle, uh, it's the first ball python I ever got. Um, after having him for about a month or so, um, the local reptile store that I go to in Everett, Washington, uh, the Reptile Food Depot. Uh, shout out to Steve and all those guys. They're uh, real good. So if you live anywhere near Seattle or uh, Everett, go check them out. Um, so about a month after I got the uh, Bumblebee male, I was in there hanging out talking to Steve and they had this pinstripe female <clears throat> from Casey Lassick that they had gotten in. Um, she is awesome. Really, really cool. Um, not a double gene, not like the pastel spider, which is called a bumblebee. Um, single gene, uh, pinstripe. But I got the lids on. They're a little curious. It's here early in the morning, so. Um, she is about 150 grams. Like I said, produced by Casey Lassick. Um, if you're into ball pythons, you've probably heard of him. He's been around for a long time. Um, I think he did some piebald rattlesnakes and stuff. He did some crazy stuff like that. So uh, if you're really into snakes, go check out him. He's real cool. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, not super big fan of balls, but uh, definitely love the spider and the pinstripe. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a combo. Maybe get some... Spinners, spinner blasts, I don't know, there's all kinds of options with the pastel. You got three genes, so you could have all three line up, single, doubles, you know. You get a, what, lemon blast, which would be a pastel. This real light color, the pastel, but in a uh, pinstripe pattern. Um, <clears throat> she was produced here early, early in September, I believe, and so was he. He is a really good feeder, both of them. Never had a problem with somebody not eating. Um, a lot of people don't like spiders. I don't know, it's kind of like the Enigma Leopard Gecko. They have uh, issues, but he's a double gene. So that kind of gets away from it. You can see right there, he he's not the most stable at times, especially when he's out like that. You can't see he's actually extending his full body weight or half his body weight. Um, <clears throat> But, uh, real good animal, uh, eats great, not aggressive, uh, I feed them in separate tubs, kind of like this, uh, separate from their enclosure, so don't get any weird feeding responses when they open the tubs, and, uh, he's only nipped me one time, and that was right after picking him up after he was feeding, so, not really, didn't draw blood, just kind of, kind of scared me more than anything. A uh, little more shocking than a lever gecko bite, but uh, he's great. I mean, I love, love the spider pattern as well as that pastel. The spider usually just has this uh, white here and up here is the pastel. Usually they have a high white with a brown, kind of similar to this uh, pinstripe where they got the white belly and then it fades into the darker color. This is the double gene, <clears throat> and he's he's great. I mean, I love it. Stands out, real vibrant. Great with the kids. We got a four-year-old little girl here at the house. Uh, my girlfriend's daughter, and he does great. They uh, they're both do great. She's actually probably the best to be handled. Uh, she's real, real adventurous, likes to explore. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, this uh might be a breeding pair. As for now, they obviously have quite a ways to go. Um, he's probably 200-something grams, so got about a year before either one of them can do anything. 
Well, I guess the mail could go early, but <clears throat> if anything, this will be the uh, first ball pythons I ever breed, maybe at the end of 2013. That's actually their breeding season, about October, November, December. So uh, maybe next year we'll have some uh, really cool ball pythons. But uh, just wanted to highlight a couple of the, the only two snakes I have, um, since you won't probably see them very much. But uh, let's let you guys know I have them, so any of you guys who love ball pythons, you know I'm in it too. So. Uh, Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.